I have identified five areas where India has a core competence for integrated action. Agriculture and food processing, education and healthcare, information and communication technology, infrastructure, reliable and quality electric power, surface transport and infrastructure for all parts of the country and self-reliance in critical technologies. These five areas are closely interrelated and if advanced in a coordinated way will lead to food, economic and national security. These lines by the great one Dr. Abdul Kalam explains his vision towards the economic development of the country. Dr. Kalam always believed that for transforming the nation into a developed country, these five areas in combination identified based on India's core competence, natural resources and talented manpower for integrated action will double the growth rate of GDP and realize the vision of developed India. In his book India 2020, Dr. Kalam advocated this action plan to develop India into a knowledge and economic superpower by 2020. Dr. Kalam's economic vision is impeccable. His speeches, lectures, books convey this message strongly. In fact, year 2020 has become extremely significant in the lives of Indians as a year to achieve those economic targets we set for ourselves. It was Dr. Kalam who, through his works, speeches and lectures, infused India Vision 2020 into the brains and hearts of our young citizens. Dr. Kalam stressed on doubling the present production of agriculture and food processing, which is the backbone of Indian economy. He emphasized on the development of infrastructure with reliable electric power, providing urban amenities to rural areas, Pura, and increasing solar power operations. Pura is a strategy for the rural development in India and it proposes that urban infrastructure and services be provided in rural hubs to create economic opportunities outside of cities. Dr. Kalam always said that education and healthcare are two major sectors that lead to overall development. He believed that enhancing literacy rate, providing greater health facilities and social security will encourage people to actively participate in the development process of the country. Information and communication technology, another important space, Dr. Kalam stressed, will be a game changer in the complete economic development process. He always said increased e-governance will promote education in remote areas, telecommunication and telemedicine. Dr. Kalam also stressed on growth of critical technologies and strategic industries that include nuclear technology, space technology and defense technology. Indeed, these are the areas which the current Narendra Modi-led government is determined to focus upon and develop strategically that everyone believes, if achieved, India will be an economic superpower, which was the dream of Dr. Abul Pakir Jainaluddin Abdul Kalam, the missile man and the 11th president of India. Venkat Raman's report, DD News.